So it's about 6.40 in the morning and I'm heading off to work. Sorry that it's dark and sorry you're behind my steering wheel again. I promise eventually I'll get one of those things <laughs> where it'd be a, just a better, better angle to view. Anyways, um, I think I'm just going to continue to take these behind the scenes videos because I think they are exciting. Well, maybe not exciting, but I think it's a good kind of behind the scenes and people will enjoy it. It's been a couple days since we filmed the podcast and I just have a lot of thoughts, uh, a lot of worries and a lot of thoughts. Um, I re I went back and re-listened to episode one and there were many things that I liked about it. Yes, I know there was an audio problem. Yes, they're gonna get it fixed. But the things that I liked about episode two was the little tidbits of information that we were able to kind of put in. And I liked doing the research um, and I thought it was much more lighthearted and fun. I did get some constructive criticism back from some of my friends and they did say it seemed a little chaotic so maybe a little bit more structure would be nice. However, I do think we should retain some of that chaos because I think that's just who we are. So from that, I think those are the things that we kind of should retain is being lighthearted and kind of incorporating some facts. Episode two it was about traditional roles. There was a clip that we saw from the Leveling Up podcast by Eric Sue uh, with uh, My Rich BFF Vivian too. And what she said brought up a very interesting question was, our traditional roles only for the rich and so we kind of had a conversation about traditional roles there. Vivian definitely came from a perspective of someone who has a little bit of wealth and a little bit of money so I think uh, there were some disconnect there that we had that we didn't necessarily fully agree with. So we spent time talking about it and it was fun. I thought we had a great conversation, but also a part of me feels like we kind of repeated the same things over and over again, and there wasn't enough lighthearted comedy on camera. There were things off camera that were really funny that I feel like we should probably incorporate in for like bloopers or something. So a little, little worry that episode two won't be entertaining enough. Now, episode three was a little bit less structured and bear with us while we kind of experiment with things. We're having growing pains. Well, my friend did say it's technically not growing pains because it hasn't grown yet, but I'm gonna call them growing pains. We are experimenting with how we are filming things and experimenting with the structure and if we should do what the type of research that we do and and we're experimenting with our dynamic on camera which was a big surprise because I didn't know that was something that needed to happen because Sana and I can just talk about anything and everything and just laugh all the time but when there's a camera on you, all of a sudden things are different. And when you're creating content for other people, it needs to be somewhat structured and somewhat entertaining. And like I said before, with the chaos, I do want to retain parts of it because ultimately chaos is how we are. So I'm a little worried that episode two isn't entertaining enough. In terms of episode three, we filmed a very unstructured episode. We were kind of tired by the time we filmed two and we decided, hey, instead of doing something a little bit more structured, why not we just talk about something fun or something we know a lot about. So kind of have like a, a genuine sit down com fun conversation. So we talked about periods because we are women and 
uh, we talked about periods and cycles, which I had fun in the conversation, but again, I'm afraid that it's not going to come off as entertaining enough and maybe a little dry. We had more funny moments off camera than on camera, but I attribute that to kind of the late night shooting. So in comparison to the first episode, I really think we should retain the research aspects and and a little bit more structured, lighthearted aspects to, to the podcast. Other worries that I have is the pre-preparation. So I built, I built an episode schedule for the whole year. Um, we're doing bi-monthly and we have lots of plans and lots of ideas on what we can do for the future. So I've been structuring things a little bit more and kind of figuring out how we would like to approach the Qinheng, which I don't know what it is in English. Give me a moment, let me think. Progression, maybe? The order of the episode? The MC order of the episode? The other thing I kind of noticed is Sana and I do have creative differences. So it's very interesting to have to kind of navigate those. And I like that we have creative differences. That means we can incorporate both of our differences and create content that is unique. However, I think it's going to take some time for us to find the right balance. I really want to create something that people will enjoy and people will just have fun to watch. So I'd really appreciate it if people just give us our input and talk about what they liked, what they didn't like. Obviously, we can't listen to everybody, but a general consensus is nice to kind of incorporate the really popular elements in our reoccurring episodes. The other thing is we haven't filmed a break room episode yet. We talked about break room briefly in the first episode. Just mentioned it. Go watch break room. So the podcast, when we were initially planning it, went through a ton of phases. We were initially going to have the board talk about whatever. And at the end, we were going to have something called Reddit Corner, where we would just read like a Reddit story and kind of weigh our opinion on it. And then that kind of transformed into break room. So let me explain to you what break room is. So the overall concept is we have 15 minutes because most work breaks are 15 minutes. You have 15 minutes to talk about anything and anything you want. It's no structure. So you go on break, start the 15 minute timer. And then once the 15 minute timer hits, then breaks over and you got to go back to work. So it's just kind of a side thing. Um, we could gossip there, talk about trendy news, talk about some fun lists. Maybe I should also do a break room episode myself. I don't always have to go on break with other people. Other things that I thought that we could bring to the break room is eventually when we get big enough and people want to submit their ideas or stories or dilemmas that they're having that they want the bling bling bronze to weigh in on, we could use break room to kind of weigh in on that. We didn't have a chance to do a structured thing quite yet. I think I might just do a St. Patty's break room because I really think we should do a St. Patty's one. I like St. Patrick's Day. Well, I've never celebrated St. Patrick's Day, but I'm very curious on what St. Patrick's Day is all about and the history behind it and the customs behind it. So I think I might just do a break room episode of that myself. Lots of morning thoughts. Um, I've noticed when I drive, I'm thinking about the podcast constantly. So maybe it'll be nice to record one of the stuff. Other topics I think would be fun, would be relationship related topics. I mean, if y'all have any topics that you think would be good for us to talk about, just kind of send them over. You have access to our email. You have access to our social media. So just send us over whatever you think. Lots of stuff. Lots of responsibility. I've been thinking a lot about it. I've been thinking a lot, a lot about it. So I'm a little bit nervous 
but I just want to ask everyone to be patient with us while we're trying to figure out the best recipe. We're new at this, so be a little bit patient with us. We're going to figure this out. And I really feel good about this, and I feel right about what we have, the concept of what we've built so far overall. It's just the details that need a little bit more figuring out. And it'll happen over time. We just have to get used to the camera, figure out our dynamic on camera, and figure out the progression on camera. And then we'll hope to gain some more traction. I'm sure I'll have more thoughts throughout the day today as I'll be working on it from time to time. I'll try to get more footage of behind the scenes content throughout so we can incorporate that into the videos. I guess this is my behind the scenes vlog is what it is. Oh my gosh, it clicked in my head why vlog is called vlog. It's Cause it's a video log. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I make myself laugh. Thanks for watching and I will tell you more of my brain ideas soon.